have two gists for you guys. And both gists are hot hot. But I'll try to make this gist <laughs> very long. But if it's very long, I'm going to split it into two and post one maybe mid next week. That's if I have the time, first find the time to do it anyways. So don't put pressure on me <laughs> in case you don't see any um, video next week. But yeah, this is also a reminder that this is in two or three Vimara podcasts will be starting next week. Yes, next which is basically next weekend. Um, it's still going to be the same thing, um, meaning I have decided to start incorporating video into the podcast. So we still have the audio, obviously, and then we'll have the video now on YouTube. The only difference between what we are doing right now and the podcast is basically going to be um, sometimes we'll have guests here and, you know, maybe the conversation will be a lot more structured or not. You know, it could just still be us here just seeing or talking about a movie, um, you know, but yeah, updates. I watched um, Shanty Town and I loved it and I don't understand people's annoyance of nudity or whatnot. It's comes to be aligned to ourselves. Most of the stories is what happens in reality. You can't tell a story that is in the ghetto basically and not have issues such as prostitution or nakedness, you know, going on in it. But people are liars. And I keep telling people that we always like to form holy and righteous. But let's be real, most people are banging. And those who are banging will come out and be doing as if they don't know what sex is. But anyway, that's not what we are talking about today. So my first gist is on dreads. Yes. So, you see my dread, Abby? You like him, Abby? You fine. Okay. What you find on YouTube most of the time hmm, is how to make dreads, how to loosen your dreads, and all the other hula baloo <laughs> that you find about dreadlocks on the internet. But what they don't tell you is how to deal with this pain. How to deal with this pain. I don't think I've seen anybody talk about it. And it's a very serious, serious issue. Now, I started this my dread journey October. Was it October or even November of 2022? So basically, this is like my third time or fourth time. Third time, actually. This is my third time relocking. But yo, yo. Hey, the first time I did it, the pain was minimal. It was very, very minimal. It wasn't so painful. It was like the usual pain you would feel for when you just braided your hair. So when I came back home that day, my face was hot. <laughs> my face was really hot, but I just came back. I poured water on it. Like I sprayed water in and I went to lie down. And you know, a couple of hours later, the major pain had subsided. And I was, I called my friend and I was fronting. Ah, ah, I thought they said, Dread is painful, it's painful, it's painful. I said, Wow, I'm happy for you, even though you have a soft scalp, it didn't pain you. I said, Yeah, fine. December came, I relocked. And this time around, the pain was, mm, I would say, a little <laughs> higher. So if the pain threshold for the first one was like 0.5, then it became like 0.6 or 0.7. So it was still manageable. You know, I took Panadol. Was it Panadol? No, I took, I took Paracetamol and I slept that night and it was fine. But I dreaded my hair. January, I think first week, maybe third or fifth, I can't remember. And yo, yo, yo. That pain is incomparable. I'm not joking. It's in See, it's worse than any pain I've ever had for her. But I chest on, you know, as a day she where I be. I chest it in. I was like, okay, fine. We'll try on. All because I wanted to do photo shoot for my birthday. Because I was already thinking, ah, oh my, I should want to dread this hair. I should want to dread this hair. But I was like, I need my face to be a, a little 
you know, let's not look like we look like house girl and whatnot. And I meant to dread the hair. But that one was even still, you know, to this particular pain I want to describe. So last weekend, one of my secondary school classmates got married. Um, yeah, got married, you know, but it was just the wedding reception. And we were supposed to go there as a group and I wanted a different style for my dread. So I didn't want it to be, you know, the usual fringe, half fringe, and then you know. So I wanted to mat it, which is what I am carrying on my hair right now. It is by the grace of God that this thing is still on my hair. I'm not joking, you guys. It is by the grace of God <laughs> that this thing is still on my hair. So that's how I went to meet my I called my dress guy. Ah, how far? You did show up. He said, yes. I'm like, okay, I'm coming. I want to mat my hair. I want to change the style for a wedding. So this was on a Friday. Wedding was Saturday. So I went on that Friday. And this was around 2-ish. So my plan was to go there, um, style it, and then come back for work. My work was to begin by four, you know. And I, 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 I was there. Next thing, this guy do, do, do. He said he has to loosen the ones in the front, so that. As far as I was complaining that my my front hair is very soft, blah 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 blah. I said, nigga, just match this thing for me, make her go. He was like, I know that he wants you to look neat, based on I don't know who sent him. As I this guy, and I went to relosing. Re he reloosened all the ones in the front. After that, he now started, you know, locking or retying it again. Jesus Christ. At that point, I should have told him, no, don't worry. Eh? What's come to worst, I'll wrap my hair. Like, I'll tie my hair and go for that way. But I didn't. I stopped telling him, oh, God, reduce your hand. Oh, God, oh, God, no. Oh. Like, I can't count the number of times. <laughs> He told me sorry. There was one particular one in the front. Is even still paining me as I'm talking to you guys. Yeah, I felt that if not that I was in the outside, tears would have dropped from my eyes. I'm not even joking. So I came back home. After everything, I chest out. I come back house. You know when they make tread for the children? For the life of me, I can't remember making tread from like when I, I got into maybe primary five or just one because like I explained my scalp is very soft like if I'm having migraines I used I used to by the grace of God I'll never have migraine again I'm sitting from Jesus I used to have migraines and if I'm if, if I'm having that headache you could literally see my scalp breathing you know the way a little baby you look at a little baby's hair and it's looking like it's doing like this like this that's how my scalp is that's how my scalp is even as an adult i'm not joking so i came back home that day during immediately he finished her hair i walked straight into a pharmacy and i told the guy because it's my friend and i said john i need panadol extra i would have taken ibuprofen if not that <laughs> i have a history with Tulsa because of the way that pain was dealing with me. He said, what happened? I said, see, I can't explain. He just looked at my forehead and he was like, see all these veins here? They were all bulging. Like, and he was like, ah, maybe you should just go home. Poor eyes. I came back home that day. Yo. I lay down on my bed. After taking that um, tablet, I lay down for an extra one hour or so. Yeah, I don't know for an hour. I woke up to work. This pain was still go down. I went to the bathroom. I turned on the shower of my head. I sat down. The pain still did not reduce. How I managed to go for that wedding that day eh, is a miracle. This was on Saturday, Sunday, Monday. On Monday, this pain was still there. Do you know I took Panadol Extra on Friday, on Saturday? On Sunday or Monday, I'm not joking, to calm the pain of this thing. Then by Tuesday, I, I said, I've had enough. I've had it up to this place. I'm not doing it again. Beauty is not by force. So I called my partner. I said, let's go to Babi Saloon. Let's just go and shave the hair because is this, is this struggle for beauty? Is it? I don't even know how to explain it. Trust him now. He has been begging me to even bath the hair. He said, "How far? I should call my baba for you." <laughs> but I love my hair too much. <laughs> I love my hair too 
up right now to bump to bump the hair after it took me how many how many years to get to this place so i called my friend susan i told susan you did not explain this thing to us when you were saying do dread lock your hair retire your hair you people did not explain this thing so me as a good person that i am i am here to tell you people <laughs> how to deal with the pain of dreadlock the how to deal with it <laughs> The solution to this problem is don't lock your hair <laughs> because I'm still looking for the solution to this thing. And if you have a solution to it, please help my life. Do you know how painful it was for me to the point that I went to now Lucy <laughs> one strand? <laughs> Only me by myself. I saw that in front of my system. <laughs> I said, oh, <laughs> we will even try and see if we can loosen this hair. If we cannot lose this, like I was ready to say, tru truly, truly, let's just go and bob the hair. So, yes, I'm here to tell people that as I'm speaking to you right now, I have not found the solution. <laughs> I have not found the solution to reduce the pain of relocking or retiring. Although Susan was saying that maybe I should discuss the, the idea of, you know, just palm rolling um, as a way of retiring rather than using that crochet pin to do it but like geez the pain i felt this month i'm people calling it month these two weeks particularly this this week <clears throat> that we are just ending the pain i felt i've never felt that kind of pain <laughs> in my entire life so if you are relocking really or you are locking your hair you have dreads and you know the solution to this thing please help our life as usual um please subscribe please share um, if you love the content and you know keep coming back keep coming back so yeah see you until next week or mid next week if I have that gist for you guys if it's still fresh in my mind I'll gist you guys but if it's not fresh in my mind anymore well see you next weekend bye bye <laughs>